in there the smarter thing to do would be just to invert this and of course invert this so i'm having 16 over 81 all raised to power 3 over 4 please note what i did here now normally we are supposed to have maybe when you have um 4 raised to power negative 5 this is supposed to be interpreted as 1 over 4 raised to power positive 5 in actual sense, we have one on that we just transferred. Notice what I did now. Um, four is actually what we started with. Raised to power negative five. But of course, every whole number should have a denominator. And if, we, if that does happen, that means this is four over one. In that case, I'm inverting, inverting one over four. Inverting one over four, all raised to power five. So in that case, we see it one over 16. So what do I do? I simply, instead of wasting my time saying 1 over 8, 1 over 16, what do I do? I simply say 16 over what? 81. Which will now give us, we now have 4th root of 16 over 81 raised to power 2. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The 4th root of 81 is 3. All raised to power 3. 2 raised to power 3 is 8. Of course, two raised to, 3 raised to power 3 is 2. So please always be careful not to confuse 3 raised to power 5 with 3 times 5 and so on. Notice that most students, when marking their scripts, notice that uh, they confuse 3 raised to power 3 with times 3. So be careful not to make that costly exam mistakes. Alright, take you two more questions before I call it a day here now. I have... The question says 3 raised to power 2 times 81 raised to power 3 over 4 divided by 729 raised to power negative 1 over 3. That's a, another tricky one. So, first of all, I can resolve this to have 3 raised to power 2, then times 81 should mean 4th root of 81. Raised the fourth, fourth root of 81 raised to power 3. That's the number denominator comes as our root and our numerator remains as our power. Then div divided by, of course, one can say 1 over 7 to 9 all raised to power 1 over 3. That is, the negative index is gone because I've inverted. So in this case, I have 3 raised to power 2 times. 4th root of 81 is 3. 3 raised to power 3. So I'm having this as 3 raised to power 3. Notice that I'm being careful not to destroy this number. So people will go and evaluate this as 9. Once you do that, you're messing the number up. At the end of the day, you might end up not being able to get actual answers as it should be. Notice that I left this 3 as long as possible. Then I'm working with divided by 3rd um, root of 3rd root of 729 is this is supposed to interpret as this is supposed to interpret as one over root third root of seven two nine. Third root of seven two nine is um, nine. So I'm having that is nine times nine is eighty one. Eighty one times nine will give us seven two nine. So third root of seven two nine is nine. So I'm having one over nine from this. That is, this is giving us 1 over 9 when we evaluate it. So we can say 1 over 9. Then in normal calculation of fractions, you know that when you have a division, they say convert your division to multiplication and invert the number. So I'm saying 3, 2 times 3, 3 times 9 over 1. Of course, 9 is what? 3 raised to power 2. That's what I did now. I call this the multiplication. And inverted this. This is 9 over 1. 9 over 1 is the same thing as 3 raised to power 2 over 1. But the 1 is no more necessary. I'm, I'm ignoring it now. So I'm applying the indices law now, which says 2 plus 3 plus 2, which gives us 9 raised to power 7. That's as simple as that. But it's a little bit so technical. I wish as much as possible you try to uh, follow my explanations so that. If there are questions, of course, you can always call back on me. Last question for the day. It says... Last question for the day. 
Don't ever miss an opportunity to learn. Some of us, maybe while we were in school, we, we didn't have good teachers, then we blame our lack of knowledge of mathematics on our teachers. Nobody has that blame, just to you. Always seek other avenues to supplement what you already know. So I look at this question. Question number seven. It says 16 over 25, 4x minus 9, all this power 3 is equal to 64 over 1, 2, 5. This one looks so uh, big, cumbersome, but we'll definitely solve it to show it's simple. All you need to do is make sure you have your laws of indices intact. Then we are start applying. Then when we take 3 over to this side, it gives us, so we're writing to have 16 over 25 raised to power 4x minus 9 is equal to we are having third root of because this is raised to power the course is over to this side becomes third root of 164 over 125 so in this case i'm having third, third, third root of 64 should give us what 4 third root of uh, 125 should give us 5 so in this case i have 16 over 25 all raised to power 4x minus 9 is equal to 4 over 5. So we have not seen that at this point we have 4 over 5. Then if you're careful enough, notice that this is 16 over 25. One can easily say, let me take the square, the square root of this side to make it look like this. Of course, this is 4 squared, this is 5 squared. So someone can simply say, let this be 4 over 5, all squared, bracket 4x minus 9. That's an important interpretation to that question. Look at, we have 4 over 5 coming from 16 over 25. 16 over 25 is 4 over 5 squared. So I took it, so I'm trying to ensure that I have a like term on this side with this side. So I'm taking it to be 4 over 5 all raised to power 2 bracket 4x minus 9 is equals to 4 over 5. Of course this is 4 over 5 raised to power 1 for those of us that are smart. So I can equate the powers. In this case, I'm having 2 bracket 4x minus 9 is equals to 1. That is to say, 8x minus 18 is equals to 1. That is to say, 8x is equals to 1 plus 18, which is 19 is equals to 8x. Mean that value of our x is 19 over 8. Alright, so I've really taken my time to solve some complex questions when it comes to um, indices. The problem with indices is that sometimes it looks simple, they're tricky, of course you have to practice as often as possible to become a master when it comes to um, the laws of indices and the applications in calculations. See you next time, we'll, we'll do our best to ensure that uh, we keep them coming in my next video, I'll be bringing some more technical questions, some more technical questions for you. Take care of yourself. Bye.